our first step is to update Windows. To do this, we come to the search section and enter settings. Then click update and security. After doing this, we click on check for updates. After the check process is finished, we click check for updates once again to make sure. Our second step is to run Valorant Installer as administrator. To do this, we right-click on Valorant Installer and click Run as Administrator. Our third step is to turn off Windows Defender Firewall and Antivirus Program. We do this because Windows may see Valorant Installer as a threat and prevent it from running. Since I do not use an antivirus program, I will only show you how to turn off Windows Defender Firewall. To do this, we come to the Search section and open the Control Panel. Click on System and Security. Click on Windows Defender Firewall. Click Turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. After doing this, we turn off the Windows Defender Firewall. Now check if Valorant Installer opens. Don't forget to come here later and turn on Windows Defender Firewall to keep your computer safe. Our fourth step is to put the Valorant Installer on the disk where Riot Games is located. First we need to open the disk that Riot Games is in. To do this, we click on File Explorer. Then click this PC. If you haven't changed it, Riot Games is most likely on the C drive. If you did not find Riot Games on the C disk, you can check your other disks. We open the disk. As you can see Riot Games is here. Now we will put the Valorant installer on this disk. You may not have received this notification. If so, click continue. After putting Valorant Installer inside the disk, you can check if it opens. Our fifth step is to download Valorant Installer again. When downloading Valorant Installer again, we will not download it from our current location. I mean, if you want to download Valorant from Germany, the URL of the site will look like this. If you want to download from United Kingdom, it will look like this. I will put Valorant download links for different languages in the description section. From there. You can download Valorant again from the link according to your location and check if it opens. Our sixth step is to close apps running in the background. Also, close programs like Winstep Nexus if you are using it. We can turn off everything that will not prevent our computer from running in the background. The reason we do this is because one of the applications we use may be preventing the Valorant installer from opening. Our seventh and last step is to download Valorant from a different place. As you know, we can download Valorant from the application of Xbox and Epic Games. I chose Xbox, but if it's easier for you to download from Epic Games, you can download from there too. We have come to the end of the video. I hope this video fixed your problem. If the video helped you, don't forget to like the video. You can also subscribe to my channel to support me. Take care, and see you in the next video.